What's up everybody? This is Phil Sov and this is the fourth and final video for the Tiger level in the Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 Deep Dungeon. Shut off my team real quick. Starting off I have a knight who has auto haste, 13 speed, re-raise, time magic, and short charge. Uh, all that stuff will enable him to do a very well-timed meteor and well-placed meteor at that. Uh, meanwhile have a calculator. She will be kind of a support character. She can throw out some status because everyone here is susceptible to such. Same thing with this one, except she is more damage based. She also has chameleon rope for immunity against holy bracelet. Should any of the dragons survive. Rams, meanwhile, is a monk. Uh, he can one shot anything here because his fists do more than 700 damage. So he walks up to something and it dies. And then my plague will be casting Meteor in a very roundabout fashion onto everybody. He has 85 MA. I don't expect anything to live, but we'll see how many he can shoot down. So as far as opening moves go, uh, this was this took a couple of resets based off placement because they would sometimes catch like a Dark Whisper or an Elemental, and someone would die and be bad. But uh, the knight charges a meteor onto the plague, starts getting that set up, while the two ladies who are invisible start making their approach, just start getting kind of set up. Uh, one of the things I tried earlier was more of a tanking setup, where I would just have two ladies up front in the more narrow corridor, because all these dragons are very, very limited by uh, distance. So if they're not within breath range, they're pretty useless. So tried tanking them, but that didn't work too well, because you need significant physical evasion, along with immunity to fire and ice, and holy, and that wasn't happening. Uh, Ramza, what he just did was heal up my knight, because knight it ate an elemental, and what's going to be happening next is one of the hydras will be doing a dark whisper onto the knight. If my knight is at max health, he can take two shots before he dies. With that elemental, he was only able to take, I think, one, and then the second one he was going to die at. So I had Ramza basically fling himself and apparently catch Dark Whisper five times. Okay. Uh, he's completely obliterated, but it's well washed because I was just playing the odds there. So now I have to win this battle in all of three rounds because I have no one else to res because. Rams is the only guy who has the rest button. But hopefully it won't be taking that long. Uh, one small oversight is the lack of revival, but if you have enough offense, it really shouldn't matter. So, here's the mid-charge turn for my knight. Uh, as soon as he gets his turn and he moves, meter resolves. So it's well-timed and it's well-placed, so no one's going to be moving out of the way. And it gets him within uh, best possible odds for teleports. So he meteors the plague, and the maid plague up meteors back, and everything dies. Let's look at the death toll real quick. Uh, da 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 da. Yep, he he. Uh, the plague just killed eleven people. Ten bad guys, one good guy. <laughs> so I have one lone dragon left to kill. Rams is still at three counters. I think I got this. So throwing a little bit of status out on him real quick teleporting away enough that uh she's not in harm's way plug up the hole with Rias a little bit do some dry out fun for 650 damage that's some good compat right there I guess but uh he successfully slowed so let's see what I can do with this knight real quick Demi will not kill him, but Demi too will, so charge that up and get out of death range. Poor Reyes, we hardly knew ye. And what the hell, I'll kill this guy with my plague also. So my plague just killed every single person on the team. Uh, he is the definite MVP of this fight. 